They're posing for photos. Oh my god. A photographer. He or she is really dressed up. She's really dressed up. Hello. Hello, beautiful. How are you? I'm not sure. Hmm. I'm not sure if you're a man or a woman. Yeah, you're, you're not the first to say that. I'm a man. I've always been one. But you're wearing women's clothes. And you've got women's hairstyle. You're wearing makeup. <laughs> why? Because I like it. That's why. So sassy. Why can't I wear a skirt because I'm a man? I can't wear lipstick because I'm a man? I can't sleep with any... Uh, other men because I'm a man. I didn't mean to upset you. It's cool that you like doing whatever you like. It was str it was just strange seeing a man dressed as a woman. Don't worry, it's not your fault. Most likely it's it's what they teach you at home home in at school. Boys like blue cars and video games, and girls like pink. Dolls and kitchen and kitchens. Well, we don't talk about talk much of, at home. I haven't seen my dad in ages, and I live in the room at the back of my mom's butcher shop. That's messed up. You've got a room at the butcher's. Yes, the back room at the butcher's is like my bedroom. Although I suffer from insomnia, so I don't need a bed, I'm always there with my animals. It's where I kill them and cut them into pieces so that my mom can sell the meat in the shop. Seriously? Aren't you too young to have a job killing animals? And you live in the room where you cut them up? Yeah, but, but I like it. I love animals. And for doing it, my mom gives me pocket money. And some meat every day. Are you having me on? No. Do you work? Yes, well, you can say that I sell meat too. Oh, really? Yes, I'm a prostitute. <laughs> Sorry, but did you say you are a prostitute? Yes, my friends and I work in the sex trade. I don't know what that means. But don't worry, you're still a bit young to understand. Just think of it as business just like any other. You said before that you are work you work at the bushes, right? Yes, okay. People that need meat go to your shop to buy it right well we sell special aff affection to people that need it special affection yeah well careness grown-up kisses sex you know what let's change this uh, such a weird job do you like it <laughs> might seem a bit there but yeah I do lots of work in this business because they're focused to or because they don't have any way to earn money but I guess I'm lucky I I like what I do I'm good at it and I've gotten meet got to meet lots of people and interesting people Although, the de that definitely isn't the norm in this line of work. Uh, 
Okay, sweetie. Damn. It looks like an advert. It says, would you like to give some gifts of happiness to someone you love? Do you find it hard seeing the friends your friends suffer? Do you need an excuse to start a war? Start your own religion by taking one of our courses. <laughs> Come in to use to us no obligation. Cool. Small wooden house. Wow. Strange makeup. Hello. Hello, young lady. Tell me, what's your name? Agatha. What brings you in here, Agatha? I came to church with mom. I wanted to know what about this religion thing was all about. So I came along to take a look. Excellent. And what do you think so far? Do you like what you see? I spoke to some people and they told me some strange stories. For example, an innocent, ancient couple at the church. An ancient couple at the church. From the Reverend Bleak character from that reverend bleak character that same guy called the time lord will forgive their sins and resurrect them when they die you can't tell me they aren't interesting people here we find inspiration all around us to faith and religion but there's something i still need still don't get don't really get what is religion exactly? Well, religion is... Hmm, how do you explain it? Religion is usually based on the character of a particular character. A particular character. <laughs> that character, sometimes called God, established establishes some principles of following so you can live in harmony with everyone else. Love Sacrifice, respect, death, resurrection, punishment, and other similar things. Similar things. <laughs> there are lots of different religions, but most sim similar ideas. People that believe in religions defend its principle. In conclusion, a religion is combination of ideas based on faith. Ah, and what's faith? <laughs> you say that f say that faith is blindly believed that something is true. You can say so. Something that believes in religion simply thinks that the ideas of that religion are true with checking without checking to see if they are made they make any sense. You've got it. No, I still don't get it. What's good about that? <laughs> well, people that need something to believe in to feel complete. Religion can fill that void easily and make people feel happy. Besides, that people, the people that invent the religion are, can use it to manipulate its followers and ask them for money or other things if it's well run. Sorry, I had to burp. <laughs> Excuse me. As you can see, everyone wins. <laughs> Whoa, that is interesting. But, do people really need to believe a story without asking themselves whether it's true? Well, you've already seen the proof. The elder couple from the church believe that they resurrect they be they'll be resurrected because they buy cheese. There's your answer. 
I'm not sure if he's a religious. Do you believe in a religion? Me? No. I've studied many religions in detail, precisely because I wanted to understand their power. I think the stories on which they're based are really entertaining, but most are full of contra contradictions. That said, I have discovered that religion has almost infinite potential, so I decided to start my own business that with what I've, l I've learned, courses specializing in create creation of personalized religions. <laughs> I want to tell him about me about this course of creating religion. Tell what what are these religion creating courses all about? Well, when someone has a problem, they come here, we talk about it, through and th then we get to work. The, the objective is that the student is able to put together their own religion to achieve followers and as a result, resolving their problems or problem. <laughs> we help the students by making sure they have necessary components to create a complete religion that will make help them achieve their objective objective so anyone with a problem can start a religion and that will solve all their problems correct it doesn't matter what problem it, what the problem is how complicated it might be or who has it we can always create a religion that adjusted adjusts to need to the needs of our client the most important thing is that we we that the religion is well developed so that particular group of people is believing blindly in it for example you heard the people talking about the time lord and systems system of achieving redemption through the purchase of cheese. All of that is based on an invented religion. Mr. Bleak was having trouble with his business and he came to us looking for help. So, it's an invented rela religion? Like all of them, Mr. Bleak has a business which produces distributes and sells cheese but had a bad year and didn't know what to do to recover his sales until he met us one of our mentors worked with him to create a new religion with the object objective of improving sales and that's where the chrono dairy, <laughs> chrono dairy religion and the story about traveling through time came from. Where Reverend Bleak brings back cheese from his visits to the Time Lord when those faithful to the Time Lord buy cheese from the Reverend, they receive pardon for their sins. What's the sin? When someone doesn't does or thinks something that contradicts the norm set by a religion, it's said that they commit a sin. Ah, but Mr. Bleak's story doesn't make any sense. Normal people sh don't believe in time travel or think that buying cheese it makes it okay to do things, to do bad things. You say that because you still underestimate the power of religion. People that are fearful of doubtful will, or doubtful will cling on to any story which makes them feel better. In brief, Mr. Bleak found a, 
a group of people that were need in need of something to believe in and he used that opportunity to bring them closer to his religion and now thanks to our course mr bleak's cheese business is booming <laughs> I can could create my own religion to solve my problems? So with my own religion, I can solve my own problems? Of course, that's exactly what I'm saying. Perhaps there's something we can help you with. Well, maybe. I, I work at my mom's butcher sh butchers where I kill pigs, rabbits, and other animals. I cut them into pieces and prepare the meat for sale. That's unusual. Yeah, I know. Everyone tells me that. That's child exploitation. A young girl shouldn't be doing that. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> anyway, don't worry about it. I like the animals. You like the animals? Or you like killing them? I like being with the animals while they're alive and eating them. Then eating them when they're dead I love meat what I don't like is that they get scared of me when I approach them with my knives I need to do my job but it makes me really sad that's my problem ah and another thing lately we've been not we've not had many customers in the shop and my mom says that if things don't get better we'll have to close if that happens i won't have the animals or the meat anyway after what you said maybe you can help me create a religion like the cheese one so that we get lots of customers in the butchers and the animals are not afraid of me it's an interesting case that's for sure Hmm. Yes. Yes, I think we can solve your problems. Really? We are going to need a religion that is slightly more complex than usual. But that shouldn't be a problem. I am going to assign my best mentor to your case. That one... That, the one that specializes in strange and difficult cases like yours. You should know I don't have much money. I don't think I can pay for the best mentor. Don't worry, we'll make an exception for you. We'll use it as an opportunity to des demonstrate that we have provided, pro can provide a solution to strange situations like yours. Convincing my animals will be a challenge, but I've got nothing to lose. Let's let's do this. I want to create my own religion. I want to join the course. Great! <laughs> you won't regret it. I promise. Let's fill in this form with your details. Tell me your full name. What should I do? Agatha Knife? Agatha Knife. Knife or Knife? And the second one, I think. Knife. As, as in Knife and Fork? Yeah, I think so. Well, it suits you. Where do you live? At my house, at the butcher's, in the back room at the butcher's knife, the only butcher's in town. Yes, you told me you work there, but I need to tell you where you live. That's precisely it. I do live there, in an laboratory. I'm always there, when I'm not at school, of course. <laughs> Sorry, this is taking so long. <laughs> What's up? 
Is there a problem? Are you sure you don't want to report your mother to the authorities? No, I already told you. I'm cool with it. Okay, as you wish. Now I need you to tell me your age. Seven. I'm seven years old. Any illnesses or allergies? I suffer from insomnia, but I'm always sure that it's an illness. I'm not sure if that's an illness. Hmm, okay, I'll write it down just in case. Do you drink, smoke, or take drugs? Huh, these are weird. I like the smell of blood. Does the smell of blood count as a drug? I really like it. No, I don't think that counts. Why do you need to, to know that? Don't worry, the information it isn't necessary for the course. It's just a legal reason. It's just for legal re reasons. It's ridiculous, I know. Anyway, no drugs, that's good. Nearly finished, just one more thing. Telephone number. I don't have a phone, but I can give you the number for the butchers. No, that's no use. What about an email? No. Hmm. Well, okay, well, we'll get in touch with a special with you by special means. I'll leave a note for you at the mentor so he he knows. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> well, that's done. Well, that's it. All done. Take this form and give it to your mentor. He's in the conf conf confession confessional at the moment. Confessional. I'm sorry. You just have to have fun with this stuff sometimes. Okay, so he's in the confessional. Yeah, it's a little wooden hut in the hallway over there. Go and talk to him, and he'll let you know what you need to do next. Anything else you would like to know? That'll do for now. Okay, hope you enjoyed the course. I'm sure you'll be able to create fantastic religion. A fantastic religion that will solve the problems you're having with animals and the butchers. You'll see how much fun creating the religion can be. Okay. Well, anyways, guys and gals, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please leave a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow. And yeah, as always, safe sailing, and have a great day. Bye!